In this video, I'm gonna show you the power of the mixer brush in Photoshop in order to take your photos from this to this. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my photo here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my actions tray here and open frequency separation. Um, when I do, it's gonna take me to my colors tab and you can also see that I've got uh, the mixer brush automatically selected. If you don't have a frequency separation action and you're not editing with frequency separation, check out this video or the video down in the description and I'll show you guys how to use frequency separation and what it is. Now, as you can see, I've got my mixer brush selected here. Here are my settings, 80% wet, 75% load, 90% mix, and my flow is 90%, 19, uh, 19%. It's kind of high, but and you, you can always alter that as you like. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Now, keep in mind, my goal here, and what I'm actually going to be doing, is editing this image with just using the mixer brush, right? Because what I wanna do when I'm editing my images is I wanna make sure that I'm retaining all of the texture, right? I don't want to lose texture, I want my images to remain as natural as possible. Um, one thing when I first started, you know, doing retouching and, you know, editing my images, the first thing I'd want to do is obviously like go in, you know, you, you're like trying to clean up, you know, acne or blemishes or whatever, 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 whatever have you. And not realizing that one of the reasons that, you know, acne or blemishes come off so readily on photos is because you got to think about it, right? What is, what is acne? First of all, uh, it is skin cells that are inflamed because, you know, they're, you know, whatever. The only reason we can see it, they're raised skin cells, right? And so if you have light hitting your skin, one side of your, uh, of a blemish will be lit and the other side will be in shadow. So what you see typically with, you know, acne or blemishes is you see the contrast of each. You see, you see the highlights of one side where the light is and you see the shadow on the other side, no matter how you look at it, right? That's pretty much what you're seeing. Now, typically, you may see redness there as well, uh, but that's basically what you have when, when you have a blemish. And so in essence, you shouldn't necessarily need to do a whole lot on the actual texture layer. And I found this to be true in my editing, right? So when I come in, I'm using my mixer brush, I'm literally just changing the colors. Right, I'm blending the colors together so that what you have is cleaner, more, you know, straight looking skin. And so you just take your mixer brush and you don't want to hold it too long, right? You want to keep the colors relatively local to where you're pulling them from. Because in essence, the way the mixer brush works, just like think of it like a like a wet paintbrush, right? It's gonna it's gonna pick up color and it's gonna pull it to the to, to the area next to if you if you were to run it across. That looks great. I love that. Right? Let me back out one more time. I think I want to touch this side just a little bit more. To give it like a like yeah like a wet paintbrush. You're really just you know pulling colors from one part to the other and just mixing it together. So it looks more it looks more clean. It looks more not clean but just the consistency is there, right? You've got you've got you've got a more uh, solid consistency, and so look at that. That looks fantastic. And again, guys, we're only using the mixer brush here. I'm gonna jump down here and do just a slight little cleanup. Now, again, you want to make sure that it still looks natural. Let me control Z that. I don't like that because I love the way the shadow looks here. Uh, and don't be afraid, you know, jump in there, see what you like, zoom out. If you don't like it, control Z that bitch and keep going, who cares? You know, is anybody in the room with you editing? I'm not. Do what you want. That's what I say. When I'm coming here, I'm going to edit these colors a little bit here. Just for the consistency, right? Um, we want to keep, obviously, the natural lighting colors, what the skin normally looks like, but, you know, you know, mostly, you know, the clients I've worked with and the models I work with, they want their skin smoothed out, right? That's what, I mean, it just looks good, you know? I've, I've made some thumbnails of myself for YouTube. By the way, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. 
and you know you smooth out you smooth out the consistency the skin and everything like that you clean it up but one thing i really wanted to outline for you guys is to is how effective the mixer brush is like it's fantastic look at that you would think i was editing this with you know going in here using the patch tool all sorts of things and that looks fantastic it looks great and it's just the mixture tool. Now, obviously, you can always go in with the patch tool and touch up certain areas if you like. But to be honest, I think this looks this looks great. I'm gonna just touch this area just a little bit, and there you have it. Now, little bonus tip: whenever I do my photos, um, I like to give it a little bit more contrasty look because it just looks better. But you can do it without changing the color as well. So I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna open my uh, adjustments uh, slider I'm gonna open curves adjustment and then I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast I'm gonna raise up the highlights a little bit about there and I'm gonna bring down the shadows right there obviously you guys can see that's a lot she looks orange now that's okay we're gonna change the blending mode to luminosity luminosity is gonna maintain the color that was already there but add that contrast and just look at that work of art. It only took about six or seven minutes to edit this with just the mixer brush and I think it looks fantastic. Guys, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful. I will see you all in the next video.